Hey guys, um, welcome to a brand new series. Today I'm playing City Skylines. If you do not know this already, City Skylines is a city building game where you build a city. It's very similar to SimCity. All right, let's get into it. So first of all, we're going to need to create a new game. Let's, um, what should we do here? Let's go with, um, Arthur Lagoon Shore Saint. I, I can talk. Okay, let's go with, um, I'm feeling Diamond Coast. Let's go with Diamond Coast. All right, guys, here we go. Just ignore that. That's a stupid, dumb tutorial. I've played the game a fair amount. So this is actually my third attempt at recording this. Um, ooh, that looks pretty. Um, anyway, the first two times the game crashed. Probably due to me having too many mods enabled. All right, so let's start off by like trying to jump set a road so it'll let us unlock like everything else. So like I said, I just have a couple of few basic, a couple of few, a few basic mods installed to make the game so much easier and so much nicer to play for us all. Um, right, so first of all, let's just get this, um, road in that's gonna branch off the highway right now second of all let's get these two one ray one ra one ray roads yes these one way roads to connect to the to the highway to the like street thing here that should be sufficient for the time being now second of all let's get these little roads off here this should this will be our um commercial and residential zone you know all right let's take that down here and across here and down like that so it'll give us a nice little like corkscrew kind of thing and then if I want to which I do I'll extend this back here and then do the same exact thing here we go and then we can expand that as we need to now let's check the direction of the wind so this is just to put like commercial and residential but the industrial zones actually pollute. So you need to make sure that your, these zones, the commercial and residential don't get sick because of the pollution, blah, 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 blah. So I think we have to go in here then into the wind map. Oh no, I forgot. It was SimCity that had the wind. Just kidding. Okay, that doesn't even matter. Disregard what I just said. All right, so now we need to get power and water for sure. So for water, Here's what I'm gonna do. We have a little bay area over here. So I'm gonna put a water pump, which pumps up all the water. This is actually like water physics, so the water will actually go down. And then over here, I'm gonna put the sewage pipe, so our, we're not drinking our own poop. That's always good. And then for now, let's just connect these two up. And then once we get our other zones established, we can decide where that will have to go. All right, so now second of all, I'm gonna carry this over here. This will be our industrial area. So now I'm gonna cut over here and then go up like that. And now I'm just gonna make a little loop here. So I'm just gonna loop this in a little circle. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, never mind. All right, so let's keep doing that. I kind of screwed that up. So I'm just gonna remove that. I really screwed this up. Apparently, I didn't measure properly, so now that's really screwed up. Move that over there, then go down like that. That's now we probably need more commercial. And yeah, so I'm just gonna take this over one more of these little corkscrewy looking things. Down here, then down like that. All right, that should be good. Now we just have to get the power online because it really sucks when your citizens don't have any power. All right, so I reckon that we should put the power like down here in the, well, no, just put in the wind max, be smart. All right, so. 
let's get this to power these. And then here's what we can do. We can put a cow, a, a coward cable, a power cable in between these two, and then drag this down to over here so it'll connect up. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna zone all the inner bits here as um, residential. Then the outer bits out here, like this, I'm gonna all zone commercial. So we have a nice balance between residential and commercial. Um, one more thing. I don't want them on the main road. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut you up. And then after that, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this drag tool. And then I'm just gonna drag that so there will be no zoning on this road. Because we don't want zoning on the road. Zoning on roads is evil. I mean, it's, it's inherently evil, of course. I mean, why would zoning on main roads not be evil? It's, it's just evil. It's evil. Evil. Evil zoning on roads. Hashtag evil zoning on main roads. Shut up, I know my dumb games paused, you idiot. Of course I know the dang game is pause, you idiot! Alright, let's go. Let's line up the power and stuff, and the water and stuff. Alright. Alright, let's line up these water pipes down here. It's just like awkward silence as I'm lining up the water. Alright, now let's bring this up here and around like that and then across I don't care if this is kind of messy all right now let's get the power lines and take it over to there so that everywhere should be powered yay yay everywhere has power okay so um I will teach you some of the fundal, fu fundamental 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 features of this game as we come across them and we haven't really came across any fundamental features of the game really so far. So what well, we have, I just have already talked about them. So you can see this is kind of cool with these houses down here. Um, these will actually upgrade as people become more happy. So that's cool. I've never heard this music before. This is interesting. All right, so let's um no we can't do any what did i do it's not like we can raise taxes yet or anything so i'm just gonna have to wait for the city to grow now let's um let's turn the speed up so it's faster and easier and better and faster all right so um as you can see the houses are growing and the industry is also growing and the industry is also needing power so let's expand out here okay so if you've never seen like a city builder before there's a demand so right now industrial is demand is in demand um but um there isn't really residential demand but there isn't any commercial demand at all um elevated road shut up okay so anyway looks like down here our wind turbines are spinning our water is pumping our sewage is why am I pausing the game? Is flowing, yay, look at all the crap in the water. Exciting, we're polluting our water. I'm sure somebody's complaining about that right now. All right, so anyway, as you can see, the industry is expanding. So that's good, our town is just expanding in general. And um, oh, that's nice. It looks like there's a nice bustling town over here. This looks so nice. All right, so um, right now we're just gonna have to wait for the town to like grow and expand and stuff. So yeah, it looks like our population is pretty high right now, but um, why am I saying but um so much? But um, but um, but um. All right, so um, let's expand out here with some more corkscrews. May as well do some downward corkscrews, in fact, and some just more interesting you could say stuff no let, let's do something interesting so um i'm just gonna go like that and see what happens all right so let's extend the 
Oh, cool. All right, I just unlocked loans and taxes and garbage and healthcare and education. All stuff that sounds like it goes perfectly well together. So I'm just gonna finish zoning this area with all this stuff. And the other question is, do you guys want me to um, do a let's play of SimCity? I can do that to, um, might not be as good as Skylines. Well, it, it's my, you could argue that it's just good, but like in a different way. So, um, you guys can comment down below and um, tell me if you also want me to do a let's play of SimCity. All right, so anyway, let's get some trash. Because I don't know about you, but if I was living in a city, I would definitely want people to come and collect my trash. That would be a major priority. I say we get education. I feel like our people need to be educated. So let's edu education, edu educate them. I, I can talk, don't worry. Right, so anyway, let's just wait for our city to grow for a while. Guys, I also I also know a while ago I did commit to recording at least once a week. Ah, uh, I failed. I failed miserably. Oh crap! Looks like these people don't have water. Let's get that solved quickly. Um. So anyway, on that subject that I was talking about, the thing was is I I I was trying to like um record too well at a too big of quality, and then OBS which is my recording software, just started abruptly freezing. Yeah, so that's always great. When your recording software starts abruptly freezing. So it took me a while to figure that out. Also, um, I recorded a couple of collabs with my friend Mason, um, one nice friend of mine. Um, anyway, we had a good um, number of collabs laid out. I'll see if I can find his channel. And if so, I will link it. We'll be doing a ton of collabs in the future. Um, so be excited for that. Um, I'm really sad. We had like two great collabs, but yeah, they both died to my recording software. So that was good. All right, anyway, so it looks like the city is growing pretty substanti substantially. I can talk. Right, so anyway, like I was saying, the city is growing pretty substantially. Let's get a medical clinic because um, that's also important. Okay, so I say we should start expanding. And I just blocked off one of our main roads. Great. All right, let's see if I can start expanding. The court screws up maybe. Okay, so if we go like that, that looks great. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. All right, move that down here. Huh, maybe I could try inverting my corkscrews. Wonder what that would do. All right, move the road up, move it over. Oh, crud, I cut off the city's power supply. <laughs> yeah, that's always an impressive mayor move when you do that. I'm sure I'll learn mayor of the year. Okay, so anyway, let's zone this all um, residential because, I don't know, residential? And there's demand for it. All right, keep on zoning. Zone, 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 zone. Oh, crap. I also cut off the industry's power somehow. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, okay. Apparently, I'm a worthy village. Great. And I unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. We'll get into that pretty soon. Um, ton of new buildings. Ton of great stuff. Yeah, we are in the negative for capacity. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a coal pa A coal a coal power plant online that's a tongue twister or maybe i just can't think or talk since i just got back from vacation i mean i literally just got back from like this three year long car ride <laughs> from vacation um it was really fun though we went to like alabama to the beach here that was really nice um 
But we took the car there, so that that was like long and long and long and now I'm tired, but apparently I decided to record. All right, so anyway, what um did we unlock? We unlocked apparently unique buildings. So what do these do? I honestly don't know what these do. Um I guess these just make the population happier, so um Let's get a a a a, 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 a Lazarte Plaza. <laughs> I'm probably butchering that incredibly bad. All right, let's read the description. Can poor health be something to be proud of? Apparently, yes. The Lazarte Plaza is a scenic area where people like to visit. Requirement for built for building the medical center. All right, let's build this dumb thing. I don't care about its backstory. Let's just build it. Yay, the peoples are happy. Exciting. Okay, this is what I was talking about. A building is leveling up, and here's what happens when it levels up. Um, It basically just upgrades and becomes, like, better and fits more people, so that's great for us. Um. Okay, yeah, and here's another great feature of the game. There are these things called districts. Let's make one. This will be our, like, I don't know. Let's, we can call it, like, a taco district. And, yeah, let, let's call it taco district. All right, so, yeah, taco district for, um, yeah, taco district. I forgot. I had a really good phrase that I was going to say, but I totally forgot it. All right, so, um. This will reduce their electricity and water c consumption. Let, let, let's just go like balls to the walls with all the policies. We, I mean, we may as well, why not? Okay, so this is, I said taco district for kicks and giggles. I oh, know, what the heck are you doing, you idiot? By the way, I said not Ivy district, taco district, and I have no, idea how long this is gonna be but oh well all right so taco district here's our good old taco district now next let's make um uh what should this be let's call it um oh uh, i can't think let's just name it at that why not that'll be fine just leave it at that all right so um we're gonna give this place the exact same policies but eventually we can get like more interesting policies like education boost and stuff like that. All right, so now we're losing money, that's great. Let's get a, oh no, I can't afford a fire department and I'm losing money like bad. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna raise taxes. <laughs> I'm gonna be the great mayor that I am and raise taxes for everybody to 11%. Yay! Or like boo, and we're still losing money. Great. All right, let's get on the task of. Well, none of who, no, none other than making more places for people to have their businesses and to live. Boo or yay, I guess. Boo or yay, you could cheer or like, boo this. All right, so um, like I said, let's get, let's get, let's get the um, more businesses and homes and more everything's going. Great, the city is burning down, but who cares? Okay, yeah, I'm starting to make more money. Eh, who cares? Who cares about fires? Why do they even matter? I mean, I mean, it's just something burning down. What's the massive deal about it anyway? Why are you people freaking out? All right, so uh, we are losing money. I want to take a loan, but at the same time, that'll make us lose more money. As you know, more losses are worse. All right, but we I think we're gonna have to take a loan. 
Oh no, yes, we're gonna have to take a loan. We just are. Okay, loans, that's what we want. We need to take loans. I'll just take a small loan of $20,000. Let's get these people water. No, don't abandon your shops. We need you to make valuable money. Or pay valuable taxes for the city. Wait, why aren't you? Oh, yeah, you're just like glitching or something. Okay, good. That was just like a glitch. For a second, people didn't have water, but I think it was just a glitch. All right. Let's extend that out here and then do that. So this is all gonna be commercial. Well, some is gonna be commercial. Some's gonna be residential because there's kind of like an equal demand for both. So I'm gonna do both commercial and residential here. All right. Can I bring the city out of crisis? Can Mayor Max, by the way, that's me. My name's Max, if you didn't know. Um, Can Mayor Max bring Las Plama out of a financial crisis? Or will he fail? Who knows? All right, let's turn it on high speed. See if that makes any difference. I feel like so far we got a decent foundation, but to be fair, we are losing money. Ooh, great, I unlock, I'm a tiny town now, apparently. All right, so parks and plazas. Too bad we can't afford them. Be grand if we couldn't. Yeah, who cares if your stupid building burned down? Of course your building burned down because you were dumb and set it on fire in the first place. I'm convinced you're an arsonist. I'm sure you're an arsonist. I'm sure. For no apparent reason, of course. All right, let's zone some more commercial here. And even more residential. And more commercial, yay. All right, so we have garbage coverage, I assume, here. How are we going over here besides the place that burnt to the grounds? I think pretty good. But as you can see, there's, oh, oh yes, we're making money. Money, money, all right. We're, we're not like rolling in money, but we are making money now. Great, all right. So in Taco District, apparently there is a lot of crime. So we're gonna need to get a police station in Taco District. All right, let's get us a police station. In good old taco district. Okay, how much coverage do we have? That should be good enough. And also, we need a fire department in taco district. And probably also in Bar Barlow? Bar okay, I can't even pronounce that. Barlow Hills, but this will do for now. Just having one in taco district. Oh, this actually looks nice. I, I really think that looks pretty, like legitimately. Okay, now that we're making a fair amount of money, let's get some parks for the peoples. Or the Sims with a C. Okay, let's get something a bit smaller. Like that. That should make everybody happy and happy. Yay, peoples be happy. Yay! Oh no, <laughs> derp. That, that, the other thing about this game is um, if you specifically build the building, it can't be deconstructed. Ooh yay, like everybody's upgrading. Great. No, I said escape, you idiot. Okay. Great, we have a drugstore, um, we have a whole bunch of houses like leveling up and stuff. As you can see, they're expanding and hopefully becoming nicer. So that's always great. Great, so it looks like Taco District and Las Plama, that's definitely gonna change, is off to a fairly great, good start at least. And um, here's another cool feature of the game. As you guys might or might not know, um, in SimCity, you're limited to this space. 
but in City Skylines, you can expand. As you can see, you can buy new tiles, which to me, that's, I mean, it's pretty dang cool, if you ask me. All right, so look at this, guys. We're already in 2017. Wow. Okay, I was not prepared for that. I've got an idea. So I might end this episode when it hits, um, I don't know. Ooh, I can dig canals. That's so cool. Okay, but I don't have any sources of water. And what use would I have for a canal, to be fair? All right, so anyway, what, what, I, wasn't I saying that I sh was gonna, I can talk. Was nice, wasn't I saying that I was going to put a fire department in, um, Barlow Hills? Um, all right, now I don't have enough money. I just need a bit more money. But, we, I mean, we are bringing in the dough. We're really making the money. We're making damn, oh, shut up, please. We're really making damn money. I mean, a $1,000, uh, is that an hour or a day? I don't even know. Well, who cares? Um, yeah, looks like Taco District is successful. Oh, no, there is a massive demand for residential. Uh, all right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna further extend this out. I'm gonna further extend out our little like weird pigtail thingies. <laughs> Down to there and let's do two more. All right, let's just do a couple more here. Down to there, down to there. And down to here. And then let's do something I've never done before and link and link and link and link them up like that. All right, so eh, that looks pretty nice. Let's get us some residential zoning and fill it all in. All right, there we go. And you know what, guys? Um, we had a fairly successful episode, but you know what? I think that's gonna be it, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.